Hello everyone, this is Gayatri Priya, Assistant Professor of Gandhi Study College. In today's session, we are just going to discuss about the magical world of star delta transformation. So as an electronics engineer, okay, so for an electrical engineer, okay, so we will be coming up with the com mystical complexities. That is, we will be having some uh, transformation in the electrical circuits, okay, so, for that, this star delta transformations will be a greater thing. Actually, in electrical engineering, there are two types of connections. One is star, the other one is delta. So, whenever we are going for three-phase electrical systems, we are in need of the conversion between star to delta and vice versa respectively. Right? So, for this, we should know what are the star delta transformations, what is the uh, advantages of using such star delta transformation. The first and foremost is reduce the current in the lines. So, whenever I am just going to make use of this star delta transformations, that is, I am just transferring a high voltage, low con current, star connected system into a low voltage, high current and delta connected system. So, by doing so, the power losses are being reduced, thereby increasing the efficiency. And one more thing, we can have a balanced load between the phases. So, in the next one, it is going to have a good start and reduces the inrushing current, thereby improvising the smooth start as well as the lifespan of the motor. How to make a conversion? Okay. So, this is the step-by-step -step implementation of star delta transformation. First, we have to identify the system characteristics. Okay. So, if it is a star connected, we have to identify the line and the phase currents. If it is a delta system, we need to identify the star, line and the phase voltages. So, we have to modify the circuit accordingly. If it is star, that has to be changed to delta. That is, the line and phase currents has to be converted into line and phase voltages. The representations has to be replaced. Okay. So, at the same time, we have to verify the transformer system's lines, voltages as well as the current. So, such star delta transformations is majorly used in motor control circuits, power distribution circuits and transformer connections. So, because of the star delta transformations, we can have an effective management of voltage and current levels. It reduces the voltage drops as well as the power transmission efficiency is being improved. Okay, definitely we will be making uh, some uh, mistakes or some flaws will be there while making the star delta transformations. That is, the major thing is practically, okay. Uh, we will lead to incorrect calculation of resistors and capacitors, improper connection of transformer windings, and insufficient knowledge of transformer circuits behavior. Okay. So, all these things are going to be the challenges in case of star delta transformation. Okay. So, we will uh, let you know the star delta transformations in a pictorial way. Okay. In our forthcoming PPT. Right. So, before that, these are the tips and tricks for efficiently applying the star delta transformations. First, we need to pay, verify the calculations, the winding selections, circuit behavior. Uh, we need to get the consultants from the experts. Okay, Stay update about the advancement or changes related to star delta transformations and learning from the mistakes. Correct? Right? As discussed already, it is playing a crucial role in the efficient circuit analysis and the troubleshooting. Okay, now we are having efficient algorithm and software tools for circuit analysis. Still, we are in need of a knowledge about this star delta transformations. So as mentioned already, so just wait for a presentations on star delta transformations and how to make the transformations, everything and all, please. Okay, hope you understand today's sessions. Thanks a lot.